professional in the automotive trade, you had no access to items like what we're about to show you. There's a company, and they are, by the way, the number one brand name in portable power here at QVC. The brand name is called Mobile Power. This is called the Beast. That's not a marketing name, that's what it is. This unit gives you flashlights. You can plug household items into them. It will charge USB charging for things like your cell phones, et cetera, when you've got inclement weather and power outages. It has enough power with its built-in 260 PSI compressor to pump up the tires even on a larger vehicle. And if you've got a dead or low battery, it has enough what they call cold cranking amps to jumpstart a four, a six, or even an eight cylinder vehicle. Not all units can jumpstart eight cylinder vehicles. This is completely portable. It is rechargeable over and over and over again. And as we get into winter weather, which will soon be here, I think for a lot of folks, it's a must have. We have this priced at under $100. If you go to your local automotive parts store, you will see something similar for a considerably larger amount of money that may not have the power to jumpstart your bigger vehicles. This will do it. This is Nicholas and Tolik. How Dang. are you, my friend? I'm doing well, thank you. We've had great success with these during sure. the summer because the heat of the summer sun saps the power out of a battery. Yep. But most people think of dead batteries as a winter situation. Abs absolutely. And the great thing here, Dan, like you said, is that this is, gives you the professional grade performance to get you back on the road in a dead battery situation no matter what kind of car you're driving. Uh -huh. It gives you the household outlets with a 400 watt inverter so that if so, you're in the car or in a power outage situation, you've got your regular household plugs to charge up, uh, you know, just like any other household outlet. But Dan, most importantly, on the road, uh -huh. coming up into the winter months. This is gonna keep you safe, not only in the dead battery situations, but also to inflate your tires. Uh, let, let's show a few things on the table, and then Absolutely. we're gonna go back to our car. Uh, when we get into inclement weather, and you've got a power outage, and everybody in your neighborhood is dark, you're gonna have not only flashlights to utilize, yep. but that plug is a household plug. Sure. I can take a 60 watt bulb on a lamp and plug it into the beast the exact same way you plug it into the wall. I've got a lamp that's sitting right next to me, and it's powered with no cords running to the wall at all. And we're talking about hours of lighting for your home when everybody else is dark. And that makes a big difference in comfort. And we are getting into that season. We're into hurricane season right now. Both coasts are getting hit. It's been a really wacky year for weather, and there's no indication that that's gonna come to an end soon. Absolutely, and Dan, it's all about being prepared, not just yep. for you, but for everybody in the household. And what I love about this is that it's 100% rechargeable. So this isn't a one-time use. This is something where you charge it overnight when you first get it home. You can charge it through the car or through the household uh, outlets, but you're gonna be safe. It's gonna hold that charge for well over three months. Let's go to the car. Sure, I'd love to. Okay, now, uh, normally when you have a battery, and the term dead battery is kind of a, a euphemism that people use that isn't correct. Yep. If a battery is truly dead, it's dead. You're not going to revitalize it. Tires. Pumping up your tires with a 260 pound air compressor is a wonderful, wonderful way of being able to do things if you don't have an air tank close by. That'll also save you money on your expenses of driving your car in terms of gasoline. If you've got lower air pressure, you're using way too much gas. But if you're in a situation where your battery starts to lose its power, normally it requires a second vehicle jumper cables, a good Samaritan, and they are hard to find lately, sure. and somebody who knows what the heck they're doing underneath the hood of a car. If you hook jumper cables up backwards, bad things happen to the electronics in your automobile or to your own personal safety. With this unit, if it's in the trunk of the car or in the back seat, if you go out to get in your car and you hear that sound, you can now get back on the road immediately. We'll show you how easy it is to do. Dan, we've all been there. And you can see here, I pulled the beast out. I've got the battery here. Super simple and easy to put professional grade equipment in our hands. But wait a second, you see that red light and you hear that sound? Uh -huh. That means that I've done something incorrect. That means that I've hooked this up incorrectly. But what you don't see is those dangerous sparks. Again, I don't need a neighbor or a friend with these old cables right. to pull the car close. Just that simple and easily. It, the beast is actually so smart, it's telling us. It's putting the professional grade equipment in our hand, but also the knowledge. Yep. That green light means that I'm good to go. Now I can quickly, safely turn this on, go back to the vehicle, and on a four, six, or eight cylinder car, 
start the car like normal. The and reason we're not why, talking about we're not talking about waiting for 30 minutes. Absolutely. We're talking instant, about instant. You go to your car, turn the key, vroom, you're on the road. And Dan, the reason is because 1,000 peak, yep. 500 continuous cranking amps. You know, and I know. But for those who don't, that's a lot of power, and that's the reason why we're able to do this on so many different vehicles. Uh, out of all the units that we offer here on the air, this is the most powerful right now. And at the price of less than $100, you cannot go wrong with this because it comes down to you will eventually need it. Absolutely, we do. And, and Dan, in terms of the, the jump starting capabilities or right. the tire pressure, it's something you don't have to, but we all have, uh, we all drive cars and we all need to make sure that we have the right tire We had the pressure. conversation before, and I, I got a few years on you. I got a bunch of years on you. It used to be that back in the 50s and 60s, whenever you filled up your, your gasoline tank, mm -hmm. you had a happy guy who came out, jogged your car and said, can I check the air pressure? Not the case anymore. People don't do that anymore. And because of it, a lot of people are running on low air pressure tires. That's not safe. And I'm a cheapskate. You are wasting money on gasoline. Absolutely. You get all the little attachments to inflate everything you can think of from beach balls for the summer to tractor yeah. and trailer tires, boat tires, things like that for the trailers for boats. And Dan, what's so great is that 260 pounds of pressure, look at that, that means a rapid, rapid inflate. Yeah. So that when you do have, I mean, again, at 260 pounds of pressure, you know, for any car on the road, that's gonna get you, if it's a completely flat tire, it's gonna get you enough pressure to get to the Agreed. service station, so you're I, not in a bad I've situation. I've got a big air tank in my garage, massive air tank. But the problem is, the things that I store aren't often by my garage. So my little, my fishing boat in the trailer, haven't used it all summer because I've been busy, flat tire. This unit is lightweight and portable enough. It only weighs, what, about 12 pounds? No, it's a little bit more. It's a little over 15 pounds. 15 pounds, okay. But Dan, this is something, it's, it's very safe and secure in its design that it's not gonna be rolling around in your trunk. Yeah. It's always there when you need it, either in the car, on look, the road, or in the garage. Okay, now that's my idea of camping. Absolutely, With a crock right? pot and a fan. That's good work right there. <laughs> yeah. If you've got power outages, you can use it for lighting. You can use it to charge items up. It has a 12 volt in it, which they used to call the cigarette lighter thing, and I think that's now politically incorrect. But yep. uh, you're going to use this over and over and over again. And to charge it up, let's show them how to charge it up. I'd love to. Dan, we can mentioned I, can I turn this around? Absolutely. So we're giving you a standard household plug, okay, guys? This is just like any old extension cord. Yep. And when you get it home at first, you're going to plug it in, leave it for 36 hours. It's going to hold that charge for three months. Dan, what I love is that if you are in a power outage situation uh -huh. for a number of days, we're also giving you the car star, uh, charger so that you take it to your vehicle when you're driving to work, and then you have another night of power. And that is right there. Absolutely. Uh, I'll tell you what, out of all the units that we offer, this is the most powerful. That's why they call it the beast. It's at 